Good morning, everyone. Let's do another example using counting techniques and the multiplication rule. The example we're going to do is how many five-digit case-sensitive alphanumeric passwords are there, A, in total, and B, that contain at least one letter and at least one number. So let's work on the answer. A. In order to do uh, A, we have to figure out first how many choices do we have. And we have to work on some new vocabulary, which is alphanumeric. That means that we can use both letters and numbers. And case sensitive means that upper and lowercase, so uppercase and lowercase letters are considered to be different. So for example, if you had a capital A in your password and you typed a lowercase a instead, then that would not be considered the same character. And so our total number of choices is equal to the 10 digits plus uh, 26 uppercase letters. <clears throat> plus the 26 lowercase for a total of 62. Then our uh, password, so let's um, take a look at the question again and uh, recall the question is how many five digit case sensitive um, alphanumeric passwords. So we got five choice, uh, five slots to fill in here. And since there are no other restrictions, we can have any of those choices in any of the slots. So 62 choices for each of the slots. And using the multiplication rule, uh, we just get uh, 62 raised to the power of 5, which is a perfectly fine example. But if you wanted to multiply it out, it's uh, 916,132,832, which I hope we all agree is actually quite a lot. Let's now work on part B. Part B, we want to have um, at least one letter and at least one number. Now you could say, why are we imposing restrictions? That's cutting down on the number of passwords that our users could potentially choose. Uh, but if you take a look at the research, it shows that the most popular password by a long shot is 1234567 uh, Also the, pa the word password itself is a very commonly used password. These are very easy to crack. And uh, so restrictions like the ones that we're uh, considering now are a way of removing all the bad choices or a number of easily crackable passwords from the ones that your users are allowed to select. So the straightforward way to do this is to use the rule that we've looked at previously, which is the total allowed is equal to the total possible minus the total not allowed. Now we'll take a look at um, why other uh, methods um, tend to be a little bit uh, more difficult than this. And so let's look at the passwords that we're not allowed. You're not allowed to have all numbers and you're not allowed to have all letters. Now with all numbers, you'd have five slots and 10 choices for each slot for a total of 10 to the five. For all letters, because it's case sensitive, then rather than 26 choices, you're gonna have 52. 
because as we said, a lowercase and uppercase are considered different. And again, there's five slots, so you're gonna have 52 to the five. Going back to our total allowed then, it's gonna be equal to the total possible, which we said earlier was 62 to the five minus all of the letters and all the numbers. So 10 to the five minus uh, 52 to the five. And if you multiply that out, you get 535,828,800. And that's a totally fine answer. Or if you prefer, you could write it in scientific notation as 5.35 times 10 to the 8. And if you're going to use scientific notation, just give me a couple of decimal places. If I care enough about the number of decimal places, then I will simply tell you what it is that you should use. Now, one common mistake um, that you don't want to do is to do something like the following. So, one common mistake is to say is something like, okay, well, if we need to have at least one number and at least one letter, then let's just declare that we're going to put a letter in the first slot and a number in the second, and then free up everything else. But notice that there's nothing uh, saying that you couldn't have a letter in the in, a number in the first slot and a letter in the second, and so you would then have to do this. But the problem is that you're still not counting. Um, so still, you're leaving out other valid word passwords. Like a a a a two, which is not a good password, but you know, uh, one in which the number is in the last slot and um, or in the third slot or the fourth one um, or all numbers except for an a somewhere uh, or the 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 letters actually in the third fourth or fifth slot so really unless you're going to be super careful and do all of the possibilities it's really better to to use the um, total allowed is equal to all possibilities minus the one not allowed rule.